way how Amelia is being used today in the real world with some very quick examples. Now, I have just given Amelia a manual. If you think about the world's most hostile working conditions, I would suggest that an oil rig in the Bering Sea near the Arctic Circle in February might qualify. Yeah? Now, would you also not say that that is the environment that is the least tolerant sure. of human error? A person makes a mistake on an oil rig? If a person makes a mistake on an oil rig, it's not a website then. Yeah? It's human life, it's the ecosystem. It affects all of us, and we've had too many examples of it. Now think of a person on the oil rig, it's 50 centigrade below zero. Quite seriously. A centrifugal pump has a problem, he's hearing vibration and noise. Can he pull up his iPad and look up the latest knowledge articles on best practices on how to deal with this? He's in a hazard suit, covered head to toe. Then what if you could empower that engineer with an earpiece, with a mouthpiece, and a heads-up display so he could see, speak, and hear a cognitive assistant? Amelia. That is Amelia's role today. Amelia is being put in a spot where, for example, the engineer says, ah, I see high vibration noise, I see high power demand. Amelia says, ah, I know what that is. I actually put the back end sensors. I'm detecting a shift in the metrics. You probably have a bent drive shaft. Let me put up a cross section of that drive shaft so you can see where the problem is and I can help you resolve it. Assisting an expert. Again, more along the lines of what you would imagine with a physician's assistant. Now that Amelia has learned this, let's ask her. What are the components of the pump? Was she able to understand and learn them? Drive shaft, impeller, casing, bearing, suction nozzle, and discharge nozzle. She had never heard of these before. We did not program this knowledge. She read that manual while I was on stage. When she did, she was sure she was done reading. When you asked her a question, what are the components of a centrifugal pump? She knows the answer. Concise. It is not a search result. It is a summary, as I would ask any of you, honestly, except if you ask me, because I, I tried to read this five times, and I still don't understand how the centrifugal pump works. I recently found out what an impeller was. If you want, I'll make a quiz question later, see who else knows what that is. Now, most of all of you, fortunately in this audience, are multilingual, yes? I would ask any of you that are multilingual, if you learn a concept, let's say uh, in English, do you need to learn it again to articulate it in Spanish? No. As long as you have sufficient vocabulary and grammar. And as your vocabulary and grammar get better, you are able to give an even better articulation of that English. Amelia today is learning a variety of languages, and she has a variety of proficiency in them, Asian languages, European languages, from Norwegian to Japanese to Spanish to French. And each of them, she's gaining proficiency as she gets better. I will say one challenging one is Japanese, very different than Romance, European languages. So she's actually learning to think in Japanese so that she can speak it better. One of her use cases is she's trained training to be a cosmetics consultant in Japan. Fortunately, she's not learning from me. Yeah. 